Okay, everybody, this is Mooney Dash Cam. Today, we're gonna be everywhere today, but right now, we're starting off in Glendale, Queens. We're going to six different active social clubs today. You guys always say you want more recent mob stuff from me. Well, here you go. How's this for recent? Tuesday, August 16th, nine mafia members, Bonanno and Genovese, were wrapped up in an indictment. Eight of them arrested, one on the run. There's a detective that's been bribed that's in the mix also. It gets pretty crazy. We're starting off in Queens. Like I said, we're going to six social clubs. We're ending up in West Babylon. Spans all across Queens to Long Island. So let's flip this around and get into it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Mooney Dashcam. I post in there pretty much daily. Get a lot of content there. Also, don't forget to leave suggestions for future videos in the comments. I very much appreciate that. And hit the notification bell so you guys can see instantly when I post a new video. Okay, first hangout that we're going to is called Glendale Sports Club, 74-03 Myrtle Avenue in Queens. It's a banana hangout. I drove by here before. There were guys outside. We'll see how it goes. Um, this isn't any secretive stuff. This all came out. In the indictment, I mean, this is very, uh, you could find this stuff. It's not like I'm exposing any uh, mob secrets here. Don't, nobody get on me. So, illegal gambling operations were ran out of these six social clubs. In the back rooms of them, or who knows exactly where, but some of them in the back rooms. They had poker games go on, and they had uh, what are called Joker poker machines put up a picture of like an old school one i'll put a picture of a few why not and uh yeah apparently they made a lot of money per day with these prosecutors say they could have been making up to two thousand dollars a day at each of these locations they like to inflate numbers a little bit it seems like a lot uh you know it's possible maybe on a, a busy weekend or something but then again i don't know the ins and outs of these operations i'm just giving you the details that i know Pulling up on one here in a minute. Well, you guys are concerned about my safety. Please don't worry about me. Please. So, most of these places were pretty run of the mill uh, sports clubs, soccer clubs, stuff like that. And then you have one that was a shoe repair place and one that was a gelato shop. I gotta figure out how to go about this, where to park. I don't wanna get anybody's faces in these videos. No reason for it. It's right to the left right now, but you guys can't see it on the camera. I like to walk by, who knows if it's the smartest idea. We'll see if I do it. Park, no parking. What do I do? I park. Say hi to the truck. All right. So this right here is Myrtle Avenue. You got the cemetery across the street. Seventy fifth and Myrtle. Oh, I forgot my... Uh, I don't need my notebook. Who needs a notebook? Go down here. Look at these, look at these old school places. Very cool. Very cool. We got 74th right here. Ooh, Black Dad and Paula. FBI? Who knows? Who knows? 
All right, now we make the loop around. <laughs> of course, I'll show you the front of the place. I got everything I need to show you that. You guys blame me for not standing out there and recording all these guys. They're out having a good time. No need to bother anybody. Plus, I look like this. I would love to know what they think of this. Head to toe. The full outfit. Yeah. They're probably going, who's this schmuck with the camera walking by? Oh, can we talk about this again? Brand new shoes. Second time to ever see the outside world. You see what I do for you guys? Look at that M3. Come on. The truck is still here. See, it might say no parking. That doesn't mean for me. I could park anywhere I want. That was Glendale Sports Club. Like I said, Banano hanging out. You saw all the guys hanging out outside. The, uh, the Mafia is aging, if you couldn't tell from that. Next is La Nazanal. That's probably, that's probably pronounced horribly. Soccer Club, 80-13 Myrtle Avenue. It's right down the road. Okay, so the charges these guys got are racketeering, money laundering conspiracy, illegal gambling, and obstruction of justice. And then, in what I was reading, it just said other related charges. Who knows what that means? I guess other related charges. Out of everyone arrested, it was three Bananos, five Genovese, and the one guy that's on the run is Genovese also, and one detective. They're all due back at court September 13th after getting released on bond. The Nassau County detective that they had on payroll, 49-year-old Hector Rosario, was taking bribes and he was raiding competitors' gambling operations. He also obstructed a grand jury investigation and lied to the FBI. So he was full on working for the mafia. You don't see stuff like this anymore, people. The last time I, well, the cops and mob have been hand in hand for a long time, but this is the most recent stuff, the most out there stuff at the moment. We're right around the block now from the next social club. La Nazanale Soccer Club, 8013 Merle Avenue. Let's see if this one's a similar situation where everyone's outside. We'll see, I guess. Pull up when I pull up. Our world together when we pull up. Where do I stop now? Where do I put this truck in the meantime? Oh, right next, right in front of that Honda. Yep, that's what I'm doing. That's where it's going. Come on, you figure it out. You two Mercedes. Oh, everyone. It's a parade. A 
again. I park how I want. All right, this is the second banana hangout. First of all, classic. This is the second banana social club. They're about a half mile apart, maybe even less, who knows? It's all Italian. You walk down the streets, you hear people speaking Italian. It's kind of nuts. Not the normal experience you have just walking around Queens. I'll tell you that. Right here, social club. We're gonna walk on by. They've dealt with enough cameras and uh, people snooping in their business the past couple days. I'm sure they don't need any more of it. Let's cross over. Say hi to the truck. By this way. Look at the sun. Oh, look at the sun coming through the clouds like that. Beautiful. We got the place right there. You know what? You gotta cross while you can on the street. Back in the truck. So we have a bit of a drive to the next club. The next club is just called Soccer Club. Very original, these bananas. Um, 129 Rockaway Avenue, Valley Stream. I will see you guys in Valley Stream. Just wanted to show you a bit of um, 8 o'clock traffic in New York. This isn't even traffic, really. We're going 35 miles an hour, so we're flying right now. But just wanted to show you a bit of it. We're a minute or two away from the next social club near 129 Rockaway Avenue Valley Stream called the Soccer Club or just Soccer Club. Uh, this goes to show you just how many social clubs are actually out there. I've driven past each of these places dozens of times, never knew they were there. And this is somebody who has a, a channel that involves the mafia. So, these are scattered all over. If you're looking for them, they're kind of obvious. Like, what's that soccer club with the old guys hanging out of it? But they're kind of just dotted around areas. I'm not going to say everywhere, but there's a lot of them. And I can't even imagine what it was like back in the day, the 80s and the 90s, when the mob was really at its peak and really killing it. Some people would argue that's not their peak, that it was before that. But I'm not here to argue. Anymore. All right, on Rockaway Ave right here. Now, not this club, but the next club that we're going to is where this all started back in 2012. Why is the oh, the road's closed, okay. So here we go. It's actually a nice little strip. There's a very good deli, I forget. I oh, right there, where it says deli. Incredible, incredible food. like the main street of Valley Stream, sort of. No, no name on the sign. 
Got the hair place next door. Colombian rush. Always need a florist nearby, just in case someone dies or get married. That's the only time you get flowers, right? Oh, speaking of weddings. Crossing over, look, the lights turn on pressure me so I could cross. They know better. I don't even think this place is what it was anymore. I think just the sign is there. Because it looks like an extension of maybe this nail place. I'm not sure. But when you look at this place on Google Images, there's a for rent sign on it. And um, you can see there's a dude like opening the door that sees this Google Street View camera. So maybe back then it closed down and earlier on it was a part of this whole gambling operation, but right now it doesn't seem to be. Let's say hi to the truck for the second time. And yeah, that's a good park if you ask me. Pretty straight, pretty straight. Left my lights on. The next place is only a mile and a half away. Now this place was a banana place. Um, the next place, I could not figure out who ran it, who was the main person. But I can tell you this, this operation started here in May of 2012. It's called the Grand Cafe Gelateria, like a gelato place. In the back room, like I mentioned earlier, they had poker games, they had Joker poker machines. Little Anthony Pipitone, who is a banana captain, and Carmelo Carmine Polito. That's a blow stop sign? No, I didn't. Acting Genovese captain, and Joe Fish Macario, a Genovese soldier, all started over there and split the money. Now, it's not unheard of that two families come together for a racket. They'll do anything to make money. Don't forget that one of the sole purposes of the Mafia is to make money and have connections. And that's what they did. So we're only five minutes away here from Valley Stream to Lindbrook, so I'm going to town over. They're saying in this social club, they made over 10000 a week, which at 2000 a day, comes to more than 10,000 a week, so I don't know where these numbers are coming from, but the numbers are never super accurate. Kind of take it as a, take it with a grain of salt, all the numbers. We're gonna skip ahead and I'll hop out of the truck here in a minute to see this next club. We are just like a minute away here right now. Now, this gambling room was in the back of a gelato place. You have families and kids in the front, while in the back there's a couple gangsters, you know, playing poker, uh, getting little arguments over their games, losing money, getting pissed off. Okay, it's right here at this corner. I'm gonna turn onto Blake Avenue. So here is the place. Now back in 1994, Carmine Polito, the acting Genovese captain, was convicted of planning the murder of two Genovese associates. So this is the place right here, this family-friendly gelato place. That would, you would never suspect would have a back room that the mob gambled in. I wonder what door it was. Mm -hmm. 
And then also, Carmine Polito ran a sports betting website called PGW Lines. And then I'll get into what he did if people didn't pay him their debts. So I'm sure this happened more than twice, but two times that are recorded that we know of, um, Carmine Polito said to a guy, he threatened to break a guy's face, and he also said to a guy, tell him I'm going to put him under a fucking bridge. So, uh, not the safest gambling website, if you're going to choose any website to gamble on. Okay, on to the next one. The next club that we're going to is Sal Shoe Repair, run by Sal the Shoemaker, of course. Uh, I can't get the exact address, but the address next door is 39 Merrick Avenue in Merrick. So uh, we'll flip this around and I'll meet you guys when we're over there. I feel like you guys never actually see this truck going at any speed, so this is like uh, 55 miles an hour. So I'll just let you guys should know all the um, things the truck can do. Okay, so Sal Shoe Repair at 39 Merrick Avenue in Merrick. It's about a mile away here. I'm just going to list you off the people that were wrapped up in this indictment. So, you have 49-year-old Little Anthony Papatone from Deer Park, Banano Captain. The highest bond amount of them all at two million dollars he oversaw the whole gambling operation then you have 59 year old mark F fewer f e u r from oceanside genovese associate two hundred thousand dollar bond you'll see pictures of all these guys walking out of the courtroom courthouse whatever you call it then you have 35 year old Augustino Gabrielli from Glendale, Queens, where we just were, a Banano Associate, $700,000 bond. Moving on to 40-year-old Vito Pipitone, related to Anthony Pipitone. He was a Banano soldier. He got arrested in Wellington, Florida, and got, um, He's going to get go to court in Miami. Then you have 68-year-old Joe Fish Macario, Genevieve soldier from West Islip, $700,000 bond. We're pulling up right here to Sal Shoe Repair. Would you look at that? I will. Whoa continue the rest of the names when I get back in the truck. We have one more social club to visit after this. We're going to West Babylon. Now this is kind of the um, main street of Merrick. Taria, you have everything going on here. The Thai spot, there's a gym up the road. You have Sunrise Highway down there, which is not really a highway in Nassau County. It turns into a highway later on. That's the Long Island Railroad. And this is where Sal's shoe repair was. Not here anymore, as you can see. I thought it was still going to be here, but it's not. What is it now? Handmade gifts, goods, crystals. Wow, oh, the place really uh, turned itself around here. Oh, we have Ralph's too. You always need a Ralph's. You have the movie theater up there. This is like the strip the young kids walk up and down. They don't have cars yet. So it was right here. Of course, I'll show you pictures of it when it was South Shore Repair. It's actually a cool, old looking place. You guys ever think that it, it almost shouldn't be allowed to hang an AC that high by yourself? Like, you make a mistake, it just falls out onto the street like a 50 pound piece of metal. This could kill someone. I don't know. All right, back to the truck. Off to the last place. This is six social clubs in one video. I said they were all active in the beginning. I'm obviously wrong at this point. Let's not get killed. Not get killed. Heading off. 
myself to the last one. Centro Calcio Italiano Club 1007 Little East Neck Road, West Babylon. It's about 10 miles from here. It wants us to take Sunrise Highway all the way. How about this? My cousin wrecked this car once and they brought it to this body shop over here. Right on this street. He wrapped around a pole on Merrick Avenue. A Mustang. Very, very nice Mustang. Stick shift GT. Black. I also actually got my phone stolen from this train station here. It wasn't actually stolen. I left it on the bench, got on the train, realized I didn't have my phone. The person I was with tracked my phone. We realized that it started moving. We got off at the next station, Ubered back to the station that we started at, got in the car, and I chased these kids down, and I got my phone back. I went to his house. His mother came outside. I should have slapped him in the face when I took the phone, but I didn't. He was nervous, you could tell. But, um, enough of my shit. Okay, on to the next one. I'll see you guys in West Babylon. Now, this is something you don't get to see. The truck at 75 miles an hour. Very, very rare. I rarely get to see this. So, we started in the daylight in Queens and through Nassau County into Suffolk County now visiting all the social clubs and gambling spots that were wrapped up in this indictment. We are only two minutes away now. I'm going to continue off the list of people that were wrapped up in it. We finished with Joe Fish. Now we're on to 58-year-old Sal the Shoemaker. Rubino from Bethpage, a Genovese associate. $150,000 bond. Next, we have 63-year-old Joe Box Rutigliano, I believe that's how you pronounce it. This is the one that has not been yet arrested. He's from Comac. He's a Genovese associate. Who knows when he'll actually get scooped up. I don't know if he's actively on the run or if he maybe just isn't in town when everyone else is getting arrested. Then we have 63-year-old Carmelo Carmine Polito from Whitestone. Acting Genovese captain, $1.1 million bond. I don't think I ever mentioned um, the bond that the officer, Hector Rosario, was released on. $500,000 bond. He's from Mineola. The club is right up here on our left. I believe it's a nail place now was a social club. Of course, I will be adding all the pictures of when these places were social clubs. They're all social clubs and, and gambling spots pretty recently because on Google Maps, they're all, they all still have the gangster front. So, it wasn't that long ago these places went under or maybe voluntarily closed or sold to somebody else. Should be right up here on the left. It's always a confusing state, but right up here on the left. Either way, it's on the left. Okay, should I just move this turn around? Yeah, why not? You know how it is. Come on. See that sign? Mooney parking anytime? I think that's what it says. Okay, the last social club of it all. Is it starting to rain? What am I hearing? Wow, it is starting to rain. Look at that. Wait, judge my parking job, judge my parking job. Not bad, right? Half on the sidewalk. Okay. We're at 1007 Little East Neck Road. I'm hearing the rain more than I'm feeling it, which is an odd sensation. Okay. The place is still here. Centro Calcio Italiano. Members only. I guess the place is uh, not around anymore. Oh, uh, the outfit? The outfit? Yeah. 
I should call up and get a tour of the place. So these places are dotted just all around in New York. At the CVS across the street. Frank's Deli right there. Ooh, another Ralph's. It seems like they all have them kind of on like the main strip of the neighborhood, wherever they are. Joe's Italian Food Market. They know where they're at. And I guess it kind of seems like they're in the Italian spot of wherever they are too. Because in Merrick, that's kind of the Italian area. In Valley Stream, that's definitely the Italian area. Over here, I guess, I'm not too familiar with West Babylon. Just gotta get one good look at the truck here. With the rain, come on. It's like, it's like ending credits in a movie. The truck needed a wash anyway. So if you're looking to follow this case, like I said, September 13th is when they're due to be in court next. So we don't really know what's going to come out of it. I'm sure there's going to be um, some pretty big sentences. I know the cop already pled not guilty. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to tell you about this super, super recent uh, mob bust. This kind of stuff doesn't come around too often. It seems like maybe it'll start coming around more often because we still never heard the end of that banana uh, funeral situation. So we don't know how that's going to go. But either way, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.